Okay guys, I told you I had a good project coming up to be able to put this uh, digital bore scope from Kai Wheats to good use and uh, here it is. Let me show you the victim today. We got this, uh, it's like a 2006 little Yamaha Rhino 450. Picked it up cheap. It's been stored outdoors. It's all sun faded and everything like that, but it seemed to run good enough at first <laughs> and then uh, realized it was a little hard starting especially in the cold and then realized that it was burning oil pretty consistently so we ran it for a little while it does run and work you know I went ahead and changed the oil on it and uh, the oil was pretty low when I changed it so that's one indicator and then the more we used it actually getting on it up the hills and stuff we could see some some black coming out of the tailpipe so this sucker's definitely burning oil pretty pretty good, pretty consistently. I have thrown a uh, new spark plug in it that did help the, the hard starting issue at first, but then since it's burning oil, it went ahead and fouled that new plug. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, well, here's my theory. I'm thinking that, um, thinking that the piston rings might just be stuck. You know, these things sit a lot. They're like low RPM, little trail rigs, especially the little 450 like this. And uh, those piston rings tend to get pretty gummed up. And they could actually sit inside the groove of the piston and not expand against the cylinder wall. And then you could get blow by and a lot of uh, oil burn. So I'm hoping that's the issue with this one. So here's my plan. I'm going to pull that spark plug out and then fire up this bore scope and actually take a look in there. I'll try to show you guys what I'm seeing and um, try to diagnose further from there. So I'm going to fire this thing up, stick it down in the spark plug hole, and um, show you guys what we got. All right, so went ahead and pulled this spark plug out. You can see it's a little bit oil fouled down on the tip, but again, that was a brand new spark plug, and we've only run it a little bit, and it's still already getting some oil on there. So went ahead and stuck the bore scope down in the spark plug hole and this is what we got hopefully you guys can see here we go hopefully you can see on the screen pretty well but um, nice thing about this is I could use this thumb wheel to articulate and actually move the tip of that bore scope around down in the cylinder and a couple things pretty interesting we could see for one immediately a lot of oil on top of the piston that's the top of the piston right here and then a lot of oil on the cylinder wall above where the piston rings scrape so that's actually telling me maybe at least the scrubber ring or some of the rings are contacting the cylinder wall pretty well um, but there's definitely some serious blow by somewhere and this is kind of cool we can even adjust the brightness here when it gets a little too much reflecting on that oil um, tone that down but then I found this spot here which is pretty interesting. Um, looks to be shiny metal on top of the piston. So not really sure what that is. Pretty small, but definitely definitely nowhere else around the the piston or cylinder walls or anything like that. So that looks to be a little bit of damage. Not really sure. So good information though. This thing's awesome to have um, just for situations like this. So I thought it was a piston ring issue. It might still be, but the fact that the cylinder wall is pretty clean up to where the rings top out, and then we've got serious oil caked all on the cylinder wall above that, up in the combustion chamber, this might have like some valve seal issues or something else going on. What else would cause a bunch of oil to get in the top end aside from from piston ring seal so let's see this is just a vacuum source going to the air box um, here's a vent tube yeah that's an oil line but that's beneath the combustion chamber so you guys tell me are these uh, overhead valve so it could be valve seals um, or again, just something else causing that. But I still think I'm going to proceed with my original plan, which uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. But definitely thankful to have that bore scope. Shout out again to the folks at Kai Weeds. I'll put a link in the description to this one. And um, just really liking the features. You know, you got plenty of cable length. You could bend the end of that cable remotely. Again, using this thumb wheel, you could 
move the tip of it and then you could adjust brightness you could actually record uh, there's different modes here so right now we're on view mode then you can record so videos being taken right now um, and then you could also take still shots if we move it here um, no that's the playback here's the uh, There you go, you can take still shots inside an engine or wherever you stick that thing. And uh, again, be able to adjust the brightness, whole lot of other settings I haven't even gotten into yet, but definitely a handy tool to have, so I'll put the link in the description to that and uh, we'll keep, keep exploring here. Okay, so got the machine backed up on the hill here, did put the spark plug back in, fired up, turn it around, backed it up the hill here, just to get this, uh, you can see how lean back this cylinder is, get that a bit more upright. And then we went ahead with the old mystery juice, poured some Marvel's mystery oil down the spark plug hole um, into the cylinder. You can see just right till it dripped out. We'll go ahead and add a little bit more, but this stuff is a good solvent for really breaking down that gummed up oil and will hopefully free up the piston rings and get this thing to stop burning oil. So give her a little more, make sure that's full, and we will let this sit overnight, probably for several nights actually, maybe come back, fill it back up, make sure it's topped off, and um, then we'll go ahead and change the oil, as this is gonna wind up in the crankcase and in the engine oil. We'll drain that out, and um, Maybe after a couple times doing that, we'll stick the bore scope down in there, show you guys again, and see if this might free up those rings or anything else going on in there, clean out some of that oil residue, and get this thing to quit burning quite as much oil, hopefully. Okay, guys, after round one of the Marvel's Mystery Oil up in the upper cylinder here, actually several days with that sitting uh, filled all the way up to the spark plug hole, it has drained down, and we've got some results. Might not be able to tell too much, but um, on the top of the piston anyway, there's still a lot of oil caked up there. But if you look at the cylinder wall, let me scroll this way. If you look at the cylinder wall, that whole area even below where the rings line up is cleaned out. And even the edge of the piston there that was formerly all caked in oil has broken up quite a bit. So I think the fluid was sitting all around the rim of that piston. So think what I'm gonna do now still don't know what that strange mark on the top of the piston is there anyway not too worried about it with this engine anyway but I think now what I'm gonna do is um, I don't know we could do another round of marbles see if we could get it to stay on top of that piston you know here's the thing if if our theory is correct that oil is just leaking past the rings it probably isn't sealing too well even when we fill this up you know I did fill it until it came out of the spark plug hole and it stayed at that level at least for some time but over the course of several days probably a lot sooner it's leaked down past those rings so I'm hoping that freed up one or some of the rings already so I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill it back up do another round with this stuff and um, see what kind of work what kind of results we get we'll stick the bore scope down in there yet again there you could see the very top of the cylinder wall. Oh man, I wonder if I could bend it a full 180 and get a look at the valves. But anyway, the area on the cylinder wall and then around the rim of the piston has cleaned up quite nicely all the way around. So can't say enough good things about this bore scope so far. Um, one thing I was curious about after sticking this down in places is um, how chemical resistant this tip is and that camera lens and all that so I've just been careful about wiping it off with a clean cloth instead of you know using any brake clean or anything on that but I think we'll go ahead soak it again overnight come back do another inspection and then finally fire it up drain the oil again the oil is going to be full of this juice and um, get some fresh oil in it run it again see if we restored any compression and slowed down any oil burn